father and his nine-year-old son were playing Fortnite together in separate rooms of the house as the father watched as his son battled his way into being one of two players remaining in the exciting finale of the match. After a hard battle, his son was eliminated and the father heard a thud through his headset and ran into the other room to find his son unconscious on the floor. The son was transported to the local emergency room who after regaining consciousness felt and looked fine. So why did this healthy nine-year-old suddenly pass out? And why did it happen while playing the very popular game, Fortnite? Let's find out. After a normal exam and workup, the boy left the hospital equipped with a Holter monitor, a small wearable device that monitors the heart, and a journal to log his activities. The monitor showed that the son periodically experienced a heart rhythm abnormality called polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, a heart condition characterized by fast and irregular heartbeats. Furthermore, the most extreme episodes occurred while playing Fortnite. The boy was diagnosed with catecholaminergic polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, or CPVT, which is known to be associated with passing out or cardiac arrest triggered by physical or emotional stress. CPVT occurs due to a mutation in a special receptor in the heart that results in abnormal calcium uptake by heart cells, leading to excessive muscle contractions in the heart, and thus, very fast and irregular heartbeats. In fact, the son's heart was tracked to reach as high as 230 beats per minute while playing Fortnite, 10 beats higher than the max heart rate reached while he was playing a game of football. While Fortnite was partly responsible for the irregular heart rate and rhythm, it also played an important part in unmasking the disorder. The patient has since been placed on the appropriate medication for his condition, and has been advised to avoid vigorous exercise and violent video games. This was not the only case of potentially life-threatening heart condition being unmasked or occurring while playing Fortnite. A 16-year-old boy with a known heart rhythm disorder and an implantable defibrillator experienced a potentially life-saving shock to the heart when his heart rate climbed to 260 beats per minute with an abnormal rhythm. He too was placed on the appropriate medication and advised to avoid violent video games. So what's the takeaway? Only a very small group of children may possibly be at risk of arrhythmia during video gaming. But if you or your child has a known heart rhythm disorder, or you are aware of any genetic arrhythmias in the family, consult a doctor before picking up the controller for your next hot drop. Similarly, if you or your child do experience an episode of passing out while playing games, consult your doctor right away. Video games are designed to deliver powerful experiences characterized by joy, excitement, fear, or even anxiety and frustration. This is what makes video games such an engaging experience, but in the wrong conditions, as we've seen, it can also make them dangerous. The two patients discussed were advised to avoid violent video games, but I would take it a bit deeper than that. Fortnite is a competitive game, and the nature of its battle royale format means that as the game progresses, the more intense it becomes. Some violent video games, like a Call of Duty single player campaign, may never reach the same level intensity as being in the final circle of a battle royale. Similarly, some non-violent games can be equally as intense, such as a puzzle game where you are racing against the clock. Maybe it's not violent video games that need to be avoided, but competitive ones, or particularly stressful ones. Right now, there is no label on the back of a game box to quickly tell how stressful or intense a game is, so I would recommend anyone who is at risk or especially concerned for a heart arrhythmia to watch some gameplay of a game before purchasing it or trying it out. Since video games can have such a prominent role in the daily lives of children, great care should be taken by families, doctors, and other members of the care team to configure a gaming regimen that is appropriate and safe for a child with a heart abnormality. Further studies could even pit different types of games against one another to track levels of intensity and physiologic response. Well, that's my view on video game arrhythmias, but I wanna hear your thoughts on these two cases, so sound off in the comments below. To check out the full case reports in further detail, please find a link to the article Video Game Ventricular Tachycardia, The Fortnite Phenomenon in the video description below. And remember, for all things games and health, like and subscribe to Digital.Games.